Hey everybody. Hey, it's Marcus going to see guess what? I've been working on this project for, yeah, about a week. I've only been doing a little bit at a time. It is bloody humid out here and it's going to get really hot. So I've only been working a little bit every day. So this is what we're up to. We're trying to insulate the, the shed, the metal roof carport shed like I got put up. As you guys all know, these things are not insulated. Alright, whenever it gets about 95, you can feel the heat. So this side over here is where I'm going to make my barbecue area. And it's only about, starts off about 8 foot, goes down to about 7. And yes, it gets really hot under here. Well, I came up with, well, I came across one heck of a good deal on these metal tuba force. Actually, yeah, may as well just say it was a, a steal of a deal. Ha! So for the price I got them for, what I'm doing is I'm doubling them up. I'm fastening two together here. These are two put together. And then I'm cutting the flanges and I'm screwing them to the two and a half inch support beams that are here. So this is what's going to hold up my insulation as you can see I've got about half of it installed already I've got this one marked where I'm going to make my cuts the easiest way to do this I've found out through trial and error folks that's how we find out everything ain't it is um, I mark them I just cut them with tin snips it works really good okay uh, it is a little hard putting them up with just one person, but I've been able to be fairly successful at it so far. Because uh, this is, you see the half that's done, and there's the half that's not done so far. And then, yes, so far I got lucky on all these metal two befores that I bought, about 16 of them. Well, I thought it was 16, but actually it was uh, 32 because one is supposed to be a half of it but somehow I got the two pieces for the price of one and at that they were just dirt cheap I mean shoot they almost gave these things away since then they have discovered their pricing error and no they're ten dollars for just one piece now so it's like oh good thing I got them when I did I think I paid under five dollars for the two pieces. <laughs> Good deal, huh? All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to notch this one out here so we can get it ready to go. So, what I do on the bottom piece is, of course, I'm cutting across here. And then on the top piece, I'll be making three cuts because I'm going to fold this up here to give me the tabs I need. Yeah, here's one. The tabs I need up there, you see here in the middle, I did, that's what I did. Is I folded it up and I put a tab on each side and I'm screwing it to the two and a half. I plan on coming in here later. And I'm going to put a sealing material on the bottom of these. That's part of the reason why I doubled them up so much. Now, I've got three quarter inch styrofoam with the reflective cover on the top that I bought. Once I put a ceiling up, that should give me enough of a thermal break up there that you're not going to feel that radiated heat that's going to be coming down in here later. Let me go ahead and cut this. And then... Uh, We'll put it together, okay?
Okay, so I've got it notched. Well, made my notches in it. Put the two pieces together. I haven't screwed it together yet. On the bottom piece, when I make my cut, I fold those tabs down. On the top piece, I fold everything up because this is going to be what I fasten into that two and a half inch beam. Okay, so then I come down to the middle one here. On the bottom, down there, I've cut all the way through. And then, of course, I folded it over down. On the top, I made my cuts, but I left the center together right now to give it some support because if you cut that, you basically have two pieces. I wanted to keep it all together as one while I put this together. And then after I get the screws in the side to fasten the two pieces of the metal together, I'll come back and cut this piece. And then I'll fold these up because those are going to connect to the center beam. Come down here to the end. After I get the screws put in it to bolt it together, you'll notice that this is a lot longer piece. That's the way it worked out. This is about two and three quarter inches here. So from here, I need to come up about two and three quarter inches. It's a two and a half inch beam. I come up two and three quarters. I give myself a little play. I'm going to make me a line and then I'm going to fold this over and create a little lip that comes out. Because like I say, once I slide that up over that lip up there, it holds that beam in place on this end. So then all I have to do is support the middle and the end while I get one screw in up here. Yeah, one person operation. It is fun. <laughs> okay, let's put some screws in this silly sucker. It's not three quarter inch soft tapping screws. These are Phillips head. They're regular sheet metal screws. And so I've learned just be careful. Just go here, come over just a little bit. Pull it together. Same thing over here. about four screws on each side and if you notice while I'm doing this I've got it laying down flat I did put one of these together standing it on the side and when I screwed it together it wanted to twist on me and it looked like a warp too before so I've since learned but if you lay it flat when you screw it together, it stays pretty much flat. So, that's only if you're joining two of them together, which is what we're doing here. Like I said, because we're going to come back and put a ceiling in this shed, barbecue shop. That's to protect the foam from any hazards, so to speak. Okay. Now that it's folded together, we don't need to clamp it anymore because it'll lay flat. Until we cut these two center pieces that's whenever it'll want to bow on you is when you cut those two center pieces, okay? That's why we leave them together until the last thing we're going to do on this. Now I'm going to go down to that end and make my fold on it. Then we'll come back, we'll cut this and... Okay. Ready to go on. I've made my center cut, folded my two tabs up. You can see I folded these two pieces down, holding it in place with a clamp because right now it's in its weakened state and then on this end I made my fold over 
that'll go on top of the two and a half inch beam. Okay, just worked out perfect this way. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get to see me put it up there because I don't want you to hear what I'm going to say while I'm doing this. <laughs> and then we'll put it up there. Okay, actually that one went up a lot easier than I had expected. Wasn't that bad at all. I did end up right here. I've got to come back and fix that. It's right on the screw. Got a little overlap there. Other than that, it's pretty good. And with all the extra, so you got the screws in the bottom are basically holding the bottom piece of the metal. And then the top piece of the metal is being held on by the tabs that stick up. So it's pretty strong. Seems to be. It should hold my ceiling. Which will help me finish off this. So I can get around to screening it in. That'll be the next project. Well, that and of course, we'll put some insulation up there. Okay. Got these two up. I went back down here. I put a third one up there. Where That's the last one I'm putting up on the end there. So I've already got the insulation up on that half down there. I got one more to put up. Okay, phase one is complete. Oh. So the main reason we got the two before raft was are lighter is because we're going to put a ceiling in here. We got the insulation up. We got our two foot centers. So when we come in to put a ceiling in here, so this is my idea. All right, I hope you enjoy this video. Well, going to see with Marcus. We're going to see what else I can get into, huh? Okay, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.